Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another Barnacle playset review for Throwback Thursday, and today it is on Paraka Stronghold from 2006. So, first of all, her the mini thing. So, let's... oh, whoops, hang on. So, first of which are. All six Parakas. Oh, which being being Pekan, Redak, Vizok, Zaktan, Thok, and Avak. Which I'm not gonna go into much detail about since I have in my other reviews, but this but the headpieces of which uh, matching just about like the actual construction figure versions do. And of course the arm pieces, hand pieces, same as from the Exophores droids, you know, thing. And the spine pieces, which were reused with a lot of other sets, Zactans in particular, and mostly Redax and Redax also. Actually, all of them have, actually. And then for the Toa and Nika, you get all six like Jawler, Uparu, uh, Holly, Jaw, or Kongu, Matoro, and Huki, but this time around, Huki has a little whip for, but yeah, a silver whip piece. So at least good for this one. So get all six Paraka and Toa and Aka. So, so that makes it a big Val Royale for the lineup and all. Even though they were also included in a lot of other sets, in some of the other sets, but not complete and all. Because that would have been a little too much for those sets. So at least this is a good way to get all at once. So, first of which for the builds is this simple torrent, which is just a silver paraka foot with a Hordika neck holding a, a single shot Xamar Sphere launcher and a couple of red spikes to the side. And a uh, witch fire rock, like so. And next for the builds is this little uh, hoverboard, which different than the one in the Lava Chamber Gate set, but with some of those car uh, hood pieces and another little slope there. And also these little staffs of the 2005 playsets would also used in some of the playsets for this and a couple of jet engine parts to make it hover and all. And next to which is this little uh, spider thing on a cherry and pulling a little cherry. Could it be another Visorak? Uh, I don't think it is, since they probably went away before the Mononui Saga, of course. But anyways, for the Chariot of Witch, comprised it with a couple of silver wheel pieces from the uh, Knight's Kingdom line. And correct me if I'm wrong, should these other staff pieces be attached to it? Oh wait, now I remember that it is. Well, good thing I did. Anyways. As for extra detailing, are both of or two of Axon's masks, and which were used in almost all of these play sets. So a little overused, but well at this time. But at least it's, they did made do with it, and get a brown system chain that connects to the front part of it, which has yet another Xamarsphere launcher, but with a blue Xamarsphere in it. Uh, which to, you know, signify uh, good and evil, of course. And red spikes again, but also at, but as pinchers. Well, from the other playsets. Same with these Viserac pinchers, but from the black Viserac. And, yeah. and next is this little gate here, which has for extra fencing or whatever, our Liwa Nuva's katanas and some more of those a big large uh by one bricks of course and a couple of hinges there and that do make it swivel in and out and some of those spiky pieces on cones and a couple more cones with the flames coming up and these gate pieces from other castle sets that swivel either outwards or inwards however you want and for them to like rest, go through it and lead to the great Rock stronghold itself. So the 
first part of it, which is of which the skull gate, which looks just about like Proc of uh, uh mask, but just extra large and as for and but also with a few bricks standing on top. And for you wonder do those do the teeth actually glow in the dark like the actual sets do? Well, let's find out. Yay, glowing. But anyways, as I detach them, and if you look from the back, you see a few little technic bits added to it, and can like since it's on a hinge, can swivel it in and out. Now on to this other middle section, which this and the other section comprises those big uncle, big rock pieces, also from the other play sites, as well as some other castle lines. And what I believe might be also from some castle lines, not sure though, but the like big large uh, cylinder pieces, but in dark blue, kind of nice, and a couple of Liwa's, Nuva's katanas. Also, but for uh, railing, you know, and also a couple of castle doors that open like so. And although with the spikes of which you, which you can use with like some dark wizard mocks and stuff, and although these technic beamings of which with the like animal tails sticking out acting as ribs. In the upper part of which, which has a, a couple more of those uh, pieces used from the other playsets, but with Rakshi uh, staffs and Viserac pinchers sticking out, but also a uh, Brutakis mask with the same effect from the uh, Race for the Mask of Life uh, one. Oh, wait, hang on. And let me do a good view up part. Notice the like little technic rods with tubes there. Put a few Xamar spheres onto it and then turn this gear here. And then roll on down to there. Then moving over to that is you can see the same build going for that. And also lower base part, same thing, well same stuff, but also rocky staves and doors open little open up as well. But they are a little bit different than the last ones, but a few like rigid bricks and the like uh, jail bar bricks. And these couple of spotlights and and yes, that of which is a light brick that is connected to a magnifying glass. Is to make it as a little spotlight. And a couple more Viserac controllers, of course. And up above is a multi shot Xamar launcher where you feed your Xamar spheres into, of course. As for the backs of each of them, are just completely vacant, like most of these other playsets are. It's probably since because they probably haven't thought of that part. But neither are they much in the comics and such. But, yeah. but at least it, it's probably the front part that matters, anyways. Like with most lines, of course. So playability-wise, uh, plenty of good playability to it. 
plenty of Xamarin launchers, of course. So now on to the final verdict on this. Overall, this I think a pretty cool place, really cool playset for the time. Like, get a lot of Xamarin launchers and also a get a, a light brick and a large Vizoc uh, mask piece and also all six Paraka and all six Toa Nika mini figs of course. So if you don't want to bother didn't want to bother on the other ones, well this is a good one. But also plenty of weapon pieces good for your mocks and all. And at least, it, even though it was kind of the flagship one at the time, and yeah, sort of a repeat of Battle of Metro Nui, of course, and to a terrain crawler in or in the following year, of course. So, oh, also forgot to mention, get a couple of little sliding doors on top, and in the center is a little one of those little things where you can put a Xamarin sphere on as well. Like so. But in closing that if you still had this set from back in the day, well I have had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, then I would say definitely go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video and thanks for watching.